Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of x minus root 2x. Given that x minus root 2 over x is equal to 3. My efforts to solve this problem without first of all finding the value of x field. So please, if you can do that, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to learn from you. So to solve this problem, we are first of all going to solve this first equation. Get the value of x. Then substitute it into this expression to get the value for this expression. To solve this equation, we are going to start with a very simple substitution. So let this quantity, that is root 2 over x, be equal to d. And of course, you know that this comes with the condition that d must be greater than or equal to 0 because a square root must be positive. Of course, you, you know that we can write this as root 2 over root x. So when we cross multiply, we have that d times root x is equal to root 2 times 1, which is root 2. And dividing both sides of this equation by d, we have that root x is equal to root 2 over d. Of course, the next thing we are going to do is that we will square both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that x is equal to 2 over d squared. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will rewrite this equation in terms of d. So we have x which of course is 2 over d squared minus this, which is d, equal to 3. To get rid of this fraction, let us multiply through this equation by d squared. 2 over d squared multiplied by d squared is 2. d times d squared is d cubed. And 3 times d squared is 3d squared. Now, rearranging this equation, we have d cubed plus 3d squared minus 2 is equal to 0. To solve this cubic equation, let us notice that d equal to minus 1 satisfies this cubic equation. Because when you substitute minus 1 for d into this cubic equation, we have minus 1 cubed plus 3 times minus 1 squared minus 2. Of course, minus 1 cubed is minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1 multiplied by 3. That is 3. And we have minus 2. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So that simply means that d plus 1 is a factor of this cubic equation. So we can factorize this cubic equation. And what we simply have to do is to divide this equation by d plus 1 to get the other quadratic factor, which we can now solve for the other two values of d that satisfy this cubic equation. Now we are going to use the synthetic division method. The coefficient of d cubed is 1. The coefficient of d squared is 3. The coefficient of d is 0 because, of course, you can see that there is no term in d in this equation. And the constant term is minus 2. We are dividing by minus 1. Now we are going to bring down this 1. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So we have that this cubic equation can be factorized as d plus 1 multiplied by d squared 
plus 2d minus 2. And of course, this is equal to 0. So the next step to solving this equation is to solve this quadratic equation. We cannot factorize this equation, so let us solve by completing the square. Now, since the coefficient of d squared is already 1, the next step is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side. So we have d squared plus 2d is equal to 2. Now, the next step is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of this equation. What is the coefficient of d plus 2? What is half of it? 1. What is the square of that? 1 squared or 1. So we have d squared plus 2d plus 1 squared is equal to 2 plus 1. Now when you look at this, you will see that this is a perfect square. So we take 1d and we take 1 plus 1 and we square. And this is equal to 3, 2 plus 1. Now, the next step to solving this equation is to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that d plus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, from here, we have that d is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 3. So now we have three values of d that satisfy the given cubic equation. We have that d is equal to minus 1. We have that d is equal to minus 1 minus root 3. And we have that d is equal to minus 1 plus root 3. Now we have to go back to this condition. d must be positive. With this condition, we can see that this value of d is not acceptable. This value of d is not acceptable. This is the only acceptable value of d because it is the only positive value of d. So the next thing we are going to do is that we will substitute into this equation to get the value that we want. Now for the final part of the calculation, instead of finding the value of x, we are going to simply rewrite this equation in terms of d and then substitute this value of d. So we have x, which of course is 2 over d squared minus, note that root 2x is equal to root 2 multiplied by root x. So here we have root 2 multiplied by root x is root 2 over d. And of course, simplifying this, we have 2 over d squared minus root 2 times root 2 is 2 over d. Let us combine these two fractions into one single unit. The LCM is d squared. d squared divided by d squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2 minus d squared divided by d is d. d times 2 is 2d. So we have 2 minus 2d divided by d squared. And of course, substituting this value of d, we have 2 minus 2 times root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 squared. From here, we have 2 minus 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. Divided by root 3 squared is 3. Minus 2 times root 3 times 1 is 2 root 3. Minus 1 squared is 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 2 root 3. 3 
plus 1 is 4 minus 2 root 3. And of course, this divided by this is equal to 1. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.